typical rush hour, New York City subway transit. I'm standing in a boarding area. And most people come on the platform, they see that sign that says boarding area. They have no luggage, they're not in a wheelchair, but they gather to get in these two cars right here. When the car contain the conductor going, and the other one will contain the conductor coming. These two cars are meant for people who are handicapped, wheelchair and such, but most people get on the train, never noticing that that gap right there between the step up into the train is close. It's close for a reason, so it could handle wheels from transport and um, carts and such. But they all pile into these two trains. Happens the same way on the other side. Typically, that's how the station is set up. East or west, in this case, the L train. I'm making this video because most people pile into these two cars because of that sign that says boarding area. It's a boarding area for people who's carrying cargo and have baggage. It's not for everyday people to just pile in there. Why am I saying this? If they were distributing themselves along the train evenly, I wouldn't even make this video. But they're not. They're piling into, systematically piling into these two cars. Whether or not the other cars are halfway empty. I don't know. I, I don't think the fact that there's a handicap sign before boarding area even matters to them. Time and time again, they, they, they board into those two cars. And they, even if the cars are running three and two back to back, where the, where the crowd from rush hour is spread out, they still do the same thing. If you have a train that has 10 cars, you have two cars that's overloaded. Those two cars. We're at the height of rush hour and you might not see what I'm talking about because they are forced to distribute themselves because of the, the quantity of people who's on the platform. So let's see what this train looks like. If it's empty in the front and in the back and in the middle, it's overloaded. Look, right now, partially populated. Get to the two cars, jammed in like sardines. You couldn't even, you couldn't even fit a can opener in between the people that are in these two cars. And the car in the front, sparsely populated. Let's see what the back cars are saying. More than likely it's gonna be sparsely populated also. Those cars are not for people who don't have bags or are not handicapped. But time and time again, they flock to the boarding area. See that? Sparsely populated. Not as, not as jam-packed like sardine can as the rest of the cars. Real time. Now this one is running about a minute, a minute and a half behind the first one. So you might get the same consistency of people. 
well now, front doors are empty. Empty. There, not so much. Empty up that end. But in the boarding area again, they're packed in. Packed in again, in that boarding area. Nothing can get in there. But the front of the car is empty. And let's see what the back of the car look like. <laughs> I mean, I'm laughing, but it's not funny. Immediately behind that car, empty. 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 So, New Yorkers are in the midst of a pandemic, right? Where we need to have space between us. And they still don't know what the boarding area mean. The boarding area actually means for your convenience. Instead, they're making it, <laughs> they're making a detriment. They're making it an area where more than likely you're going to catch COVID-19 before you get home. <laughs> Packed in like that. When the rest of the car, when, when the rest of the train is damn near half empty. Mm -mm. You guys got to learn what the boarding area means. See that handicap sign? It actually means something. That's where wheelchair and such go. No? Packages. <laughs> if you got extra shopping bags. Not because it's convenient. Because it doesn't look convenient. Does it look convenient to you? The other part of the train is half empty, and where you are at, it, it, it's, it's packed like a sardine can. The next Brooklyn bound L train is now driving. Please stand away. Third car. This car is coming in real time from that second car that just went by. Let's see what's on this one. This one, the front and the back should be even more empty. Let's see. Boarding area got over more than you could get. And because we're a third car, now me with my package team, get on. You know? Get my package team, get on. But time and time again, New Yorkers are getting into the boarding area with no baggage, no wheelchair, no packages and they're packed in like sardine while the rest of the train is half empty. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> We're in the midst of Corona and people are packing themselves into an area where they don't have to pack themselves into. <laughs> <laughs>